today we're here to basically test out all those videos you see on Facebook that like make all these like delicious like little treats and I want to see if you can actually make them in real life. That's actually quite a good video idea. I need to write that down. That Shut up. I'm gonna tap. I'm gonna write it down on my arm, guys. Okay. Don't you worry. No, okay. I can't be bothered. Let's blast the job. Can you hear that? No. 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 It's the demonetization alarm. No. This video. No. It's getting demonet. No. Okay. Oh god. This video is getting demonetized. I need quick. I need to change my video idea. I had a video planned. Uh, no, we need to change this video idea. What, what can we have? Something the least controversial. Uh, quick, I need I, can, I need to be monetized, okay? <laughs> I've made like three videos. <laughs> and they're all demonetized. There must be something that I can do. What about this cooking video? Wait, what? 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 Ads? There's ads? YouTube likes cooking? Hang on a minute. I think I did another cooking video. This is ads? What the hell? Do all these cooking videos I've had. YouTube likes cooking videos. So we, in today's video, we're going to be reacting to the worst cooking show moments ever. Just before this video starts, uh, I'm trying to hit 6,000 subscribers. So if you are new to the channel and you enjoy this video at any moment in time, be sure to subscribe to help Papa Cameron out. Dab on the haters. <laughs> and now I've heard about this uh, channel called Weber Cooks. Uh, I'm not going to react to that because H3H3's reaction video was uh, much better than mine. I couldn't even live up to it. So we're just going to react to some uh, cooking show fails. Uh, hopefully YouTube will not demonetize this video. So everyone in the chat, I want you to say monetize Papa Cameron. And hopefully Susan, the CEO of YouTube. I love you, Susan. My best friend. Guys, I think I'm going to get a poster of Susan's face. Okay, I think that's the way that I should do it. If we hit 50 likes on this video, I'll get a poster of Susan's face on the uh, on the wall. That's not going to look weird whatsoever. <laughs> you know, some people have, like, posters of uh, women to ha-ha <laughs> over. Um, that might seem like I'm doing that over Susan. I'm not. Okay, but let's, let's just get into this video, okay, before it gets weird. This video was that! Okay, I want to cook in. I want to do some cooking, okay? Right, let's react. Let's have a little look at this video then. Fail blog. Oh no, I'm going to get copyright strike. No, I'm not. It's from the Food Network. Thank you. Well, look at that. Okay, so I just wanted to start off by saying a lot of channels are themed uh, around fails. And these fail channels, kind of like fail blog and stuff, they license... Uh, videos and because they license videos uh, it pretty much means that if you react to it you'll get a copyright strike Luckily, this is from the Food Network originally, so they won't copyright strike me I don't even think Food Network is you know a, a particularly harsh company or anything. You know, it's, just, it's just food Okay, like I'll just chuck a pizza at them if they try and copyright strike this video But yeah, I think viral hog is a big one like they uh, license so many videos like rookie videos So what happens is someone records a video of maybe I don't know John falling over a big Mac at Mackey D's Someone would record that they'll sell it to viral hog viral hog will promote it They'll make all the ad revenue off it and then after that, if someone reacts to it, they also take the ad revenue from the reaction channel's video. So let's just hope to God we don't get a copyright strike on this video. And let's hope to God this video is monetized. Okay, right, let's get reacting. I'm going to take this and kind of freeform it and put it on a baking sheet. Now, whenever you're working with raw meat, you got to wash your hands. Guys, if you are working with raw meat, make sure you wash your hands. Uh, what's that? What's that? Uh, you don't have running water? How's that even funny? What, what, what joke was I trying to make there? I don't know. I just want to put my two tablespoons of ketchup right on the top. She says she's putting two tablespoons on, but she isn't actually measuring it. That's how pro this cook is. She's like, I don't need to measure anything. Haha. <laughs> It looks so bad. Is that like glycerol or something? What's that? Oh god, that, that looks like a flipping... What happened? Why is why was this on the Food Network? <laughs> yeah, you can literally have any show on the Food Network. Jesus Christ. Okay, that was... Uh, 
Literally, the cooking recipe was get some meat, put some tomato sauce over it, and cook it. <laughs> she didn't even give us any instructions. I want to make that dish. What heat do I put it on in the oven? Exactly. How to Cameron? Pepper cook Cameron Brown here from How to Cameron. Right, let's let's watch this one. The worst cooking video you've ever seen. Okay. Hey guys. And ads. I think YouTube just really likes cooking videos, which is really good. I mean, I, 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 I need to be monetized, so yeah. Okay, I'm not going to keep talking about the monetization thing because, you know, I'm going to get triggered. Okay. Girl with no job. Okay. I think the really worrying figure is this record high in the level of youth unemployment at over 950,000 young people. Okay. Hello, everyone. Welcome to the new segment exclusively on the Girl with No Job app, Cooking with Cloudy. She has an app? What the hell? Maybe I should have an app. Call it the Loser app. Today we're here to basically test out all those videos you see on Facebook that like make all these like delicious like little treats and I want to see if you can actually make them in real life. That's actually quite a good video idea. I need to write that down. That Shut up. I'm gonna tap. I'm gonna write down on my arm guys. Okay. Don't you worry. No, okay. I can't be bothered. Well seriously, that's actually a good video idea because I see on Facebook or well, I used to see. I mean I don't use Facebook anymore. But I used to see all these uh, BuzzFeed videos mostly where they just cook cool stuff and they do like they don't actually give you the recipe they just cook it that's what i'm gonna do i have my recipe i have my ingredients i have my big friggin bowl and i'm ready to go so first things first i gotta wash my hands because i just peed and i didn't wash them then okay that's a bit too much information there well do you expect me to record a video guys i've just gotta wash my hands i just um uh rubbed my sexual Organ. Sorry about that, guys. How come saying it without swearing or saying any naughty words is actually more awkward than saying it biologically? I don't know how that works. Okay, so the recipe calls for two thirds of a cup of heavy cream. I feel like this is me in a cream. Okay, so she just fat shamed herself. <laughs> what a great video! <laughs> I don't, I don't hate her at all. I think she's funny. What? I mean, the top comment is, I get that it's supposed to be funny, but it's actually not that, it's not unfunny, it's alright. Ew. So if there's any vegans watching this video, I'm sorry that I'm making you watch this. That egg is actually vegan, so do not worry. Hang on a minute. Susan Wokanicki. Is she vegan? She better not be vegan. That's why this video is going to get demonetized. You better not be a vegan. No. No, 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 she's not vegan. No, she hasn't. No, she's not a vegan, please. No, do, do we have to? No, she's not vegan. Oh, my God. Whoo, whoo. Wait, she's vegetarian. She better not be vegetarian because there was meat in her. No, she's not vegetarian. Whoo, that's good. For a minute, if the, if the CEO of YouTube was a vegan or a vegetarian for that matter, this video would have been demonetized. And I do not want that to happen, okay? One teaspoon of pure vanilla extract. Mmm, smells good. Getting high. Oh, off my own supply. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, next. One and three quarter cups of all-purpose flour. Got my all-purpose flour. I need to wash this out. Oh my god, cooking is so hard. I really like the time lapse with no music. That's really good. I actually really like time lapses with no music. They're very relaxing. It makes you think about what you're watching. Which I think is very insightful, in my opinion. One fourth of a cup of Dutch processed unsweetened cocoa powder. So, like, what's the difference between Dutch and like American unsweetened cocoa powder? It doesn't give you diabetes. Dab, dab, dab. Okay, right. So, about that. I had to dab on the haters there. Sorry, that was a good one. I think I think that was a pretty good joke. I'm not gonna lie. Leave a rating zero to ten in the comments. Appreciate it. Let's just skip. <laughs> okay, let's see what. Okay, let's see what they turn out like. Put them on a pan and like f it up. So stop swearing. Susan is watching. She doesn't like it when you swear. Sorry, Susan, watching this video. I apologize. But you know, I'm open to trying new things. So this is what the inside looks like. The chocolate didn't even melt. That doesn't seem right. Why can't you just eat with the mouth closed? Like. If, if you're the main, you know, if this is a proper video that you're trying to be dead professional with, why are you eating with your mouth open? I'm very angry. Okay, I'm very angry. Mm. 
tastes like sand. <laughs> So she says it tastes like sand, but she happily takes two massive bites of it. It's like going, oh, yeah, this chocolate bar tastes terrible. Then why did you eat it? Thank you guys for watching this video. If you've enjoyed it, be sure to smack that like button. I really do appreciate it if you would do that. Also, subscribe to the channel if you're new today. Thanks for watching, and I'll be seeing you guys later. Goodbye.